this figure, 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 figure. Oh. Let me stop. It's my songwriting skills that's kicking in, y'all. So that could be like a good Afro beats. I'm picking that up. So if there's like an Afro beat producer out there, hey, we can collaborate, give you an idea. So you want to have your body and your turkeys to look tight and right and have all the curves in the right places. What's the secret? All right, how do I keep my body for a woman who is in my 30s? I'm getting up there, guys. So, but I do feel like I am still in my early 20s. If I can be honest, I still feel like, let's go back to like adolescent, teen, late teens, 18, 19. I'm feeling that, I'm young at heart. What's the secret? I'll share. What is it that I do to maintain my figure, my body? I am 5'2", for reference, and I currently weigh 128 pounds. Give you a look. This is me, okay? I will share. Some of it do attribute to genetics. However, I don't want to make genetics like the sole focus here because Yes, we can have good genes or bad genes, and bad genes can be modified through diet. Believe it or not, you can change your entire genetic makeup with by food, by what you put in your body, how you feed it. Within like, I was reading this research, I think it takes like about seven years, you can totally change everything. Like you procreate your baby, everything that was back in your Family history does not even have to pass over. It doesn't have to pass on, is what I meant, to your offsprings. Anyway, let's get into the video. What is it that I do to keep this body right? All right, no singing. What I do is, I'm gonna go into the diet. I know we don't wanna talk about it, but diet is key. What you put in there is what you're gonna get. Input gives you output. Output. All right, and also I would say it goes back to my upbringing. I grew up on an island. I'm an islander, I'm Caribbean. We eat totally different compared to the American diet. I grew up eating whole foods, foods that are cooked, that you actually have to pick it from the tree or go and fetch it or fish for it and then cook it and then you have dinner or lunch as a family. That's how I grew up. But being in the States, it's been hard, I'm not gonna lie. All the processed food, the burgers, the meat, they're not the same compared to the islands because there's so many hormones that are pumped daily into the cows, into the chicken. And I eat meat, but I try to eat it sparingly. I try to not eat it every day of the week. I'm not a whole meat fan. I do grow up with chicken. Honestly, I grew up with seafood, fish, so if I can eat that every day, I'm comfortable, I'm okay. Meat is like a luxury, and if I have meat, I want it to be at least good quality. So if you want to eat meat, if you're um, a carnivore, if you're eating meat, try to have the best quality of meat possible. Um, there's grass-fed, you can um, do your research too to find out where the meat is coming from and um, see if it's a good fit for you and what you stand for ethically, how they treat these animals. So yes, food does play a, a major role. Eating habits, not eating at night. I can't emphasize enough how much this can like really affect your weight, especially in our 30s, our hormones, hormones fluctuate. It doesn't fluctuate, our weight can fluctuate. Excuse me, I meant like our hormones are like doing all sorts of crazy stuff. So you wanna make sure that you're putting healthy and clean thing, foods in your body, fuel, instead of just eating out of just like, oh, we're bored and we're eating. So let's try to cut out eating at night. I cut that out to like the bare minimum. Every now and then I would crave a comfort food. But if I had, if I ate the night before, um, late, I try to fast. The, the morning the next day which goes into into um, intermediate fasting I tend to fast um, in the mornings I don't eat much and I skip
skip a meal in the morning and I eat lunch, or if I skip lunch, I have breakfast depending on how I'm feeling, then I skip lunch, or if I have lunch, I skip dinner. And if I skip dinner, I have breakfast in the morning. I hope that makes sense. So diet is key. Try to eat whole foods. Try to minimize what you put in that body, especially at nighttime, cutting off the emotional eating. And let's go into the empty calories, guys. That's where it gets us, like drinking out of calories. It's so easy to do that. You can drink your calories through what the beverages. There's um, Starbucks um, or coffee shops with all those frappes and lattes. They're loaded with like sugar and loaded with so much calorie. And soda, let's not forget the soda pops, it's big, the Coke soda, the Sprite, the Diet Pepsi, it's a lie. The no sugar sodas, that's not true. They're masking the no sugar with something else, a different type of sweetener, which is even more deadlier um, to put in your body um, compared to natural sugars. So try to cut that out of your diet. I know it may take time because many of us grew up drinking those things. Um, I didn't, I grew up drinking water and the sodas were like basically a treat and we didn't have that every day but americans are so fortunate and also unfortunate too sad to say with the choices that we make with what we put in our body so try to cut cut that out cut out the um the processed foods cut out the sodas cut out the soda pops cut all of that out and i also See to it that I don't eat too much fruits. Fruit is good. I know it's gonna be controversial, but limit how many fruits you have. Certain fruits have higher sugar index than others. Pay attention. I know many of us probably didn't grow up looking behind a label to see what's in our food, but we have to, y'all. If we're not gonna do it, who's gonna do it? You guys wanna trust the FDA? They don't care about you. Do your own research. Look behind the ingredients, the box, or whatever it is, make sure you're looking to see what is being put in your food. Educate yourself to educate your children. Like they say, the children are the future. You're leaving this legacy behind. You wanna leave a legacy that is solid, people. For those of you who have children, and it's gonna be hard to um, teach them how to eat, especially now in this day and age, Excuse me for the noise. I don't know if you're hearing it. I think they're doing some renovations upstairs um, for the new movers. So there might be some ruckus in the video. Please excuse that. I meant to actually state that in the beginning. So yes, eating whole foods, cutting out empty calories, such as the beverages that you drink, intermittent, intermediate fasting, fasting throughout the week, skipping breakfast. Breakfast is not really the important meal of the day. It's a lie. They try to, it's a lie. Lie from the pit, pit of hell, it's not. Do your research on that. And um, lastly, I would say just give yourself grace. I do exercise, by the way, and I try to be active. I My lifestyle is, is active where I don't, I don't have a gym membership. I'm not working out in the gym. I simply like to be active. I like to go for walks after I eat. I enjoy being outdoors. That's how I keep active. Growing up, we used to be outdoors, running around, climbing trees, um, playing hide and seek with our friends. These kids nowadays are basically glued on a couch with their video games, their phones, and that's it. Kids don't play outside anymore like we used to. Have your kids to go outside. Encourage them to play outside. It's summertime. Of course, we're gonna be careful with the heat. But if it's nice outside, have them go play. The heat won't kill them. I've played in the heat. But of course, we gotta be mindful of that. But kids were meant to be outside to play. So as an adult, I incorporate that into my lifestyle. Having time to play. And it's a weekly thing that I do. So get active, get moving. And that's it, y'all. Nothing crazy. I'm not out here, you know, 
the scheduling for procedure because your girl can't afford it even if I wanted to so this is just me working with what I have and you can start today wherever you are work with what you have and give your body grace it's not gonna happen overnight but keep in mind the little increment steps that you make they're going to add up because it, it is it's just the law of of nature or the, the the law of it's just the law if you put in the work you will see the results okay i'm so glad you stick with me up until this point and if you have any questions if you have any concerns please hit me up leave a message and the message in the description below and let me know how is it for you in your 30s with your weight because there are those of you who's um, struggle with it and there are people who are eating um, clean and doing all these things that I'm doing but they still struggle with the weight um, if it's not the eating then it has to be something else underlining it could be a hormone or a thyroid situation I'm not a medical professional I'm just giving information from what I've heard and from other doctors I follow so please See to it that you take care of your body, get your annual checkups to make sure your hormone levels are good because I had to do that for mine and it was very low. I'm currently taking supplements to help me and perhaps this can help you too. So this was fun and until next time, I will see you in an